Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. I have a very exciting video for you today. It is my Aritzia clientele sale haul part one because there is also a part two. I made a fairly large order and I just thought I'd split it up. Well, I actually haven't received the other items yet, so it'll be good to sort of do a part one and a part two, I think. But um, I had access on June 5th, so the first day. I think it was the first day. I was surprised because the last time I ordered from Aritzia was January 3rd. I have just not bought a lot of clothes in general from um, any brand or any store. I'm really trying to slow my roll, especially when it comes to fast fashion, which I still would classify Aritzia as fast fashion, even though the price point's a little bit higher than some other typical fast fashion brands but uh, I just don't need a lot of clothes. And so the items I picked up today I think are really great and I would, I think, recommend almost all of them. I have tried some of them on. Uh, I think they're classic, minimal, everyday basics, the kind of no-brainers that you can put on and just mix and match really easily. I'm trying to curate my wardrobe now so it sort of mimics my handbag collection. I'm just trying to pick pieces I know will last and I'll wear for years to come. And like I said, I can mix and match easily. So let's get into this. The first item I have to show you, I actually picked up two just in different colors. I need to get you on this because if you are a fan of the effortless pant, I have, I only have one pair actually, a black classic pair. If you are my height, so I am 5'4", I feel like I have a regular like torso, I don't have a short torso or a long torso, but I still find that the effortless pant are not the most comfortable, especially when you're sitting. They hit about an inch above my belly button, I would say, and I just don't like it. It's just, it's not comfortable. You need to get the low, and you might be thinking, I don't wanna wear a low rise. These, to me, are not a low rise on my frame being 5'4". These to me are more so a mid, or they just hit at my belly button. I feel like as I wear them a little bit more, so I, when I tried them on, they fall a little bit. I probably could have sized down. I got my regular size four, that's what I have in my other effortless, but I feel like if you wanted to fit a little bit higher up, you could definitely size down. Um, so these are the low rise effortless and these are amazing. I, I couldn't gatekeep these. You need to get these, especially like I mentioned, if you are, I would say maybe five, five and under regular kind of torso. Um, these fit so, so well and they're so comfy and I can eat in them. I was sitting in them when I was trying them on and they weren't kind of like digging in in any way, shape, or form. So I picked these ones up, like I mentioned, a size four. These are the matte pearl. And then I also picked up the exact same pair, but in classic black. Um, these, every item was 20% off, which I feel like is a pretty good deal compared to their November clientele. I didn't even buy anything in their fall clientele. That's how much I've sort of like curved my shopping. Um, but they were regular 148, 20% off. Um, I was curious, so I actually looked it up. They were $118.40. Moving on, I picked up another pair of dress pants. Who am I? I usually only wear jeans. I actually have a pair of jeans coming in my other order, but these are the Review pants in Heather Iconic Gray, size four, same price as the Effortless, so 148 came to 118. Um, it says Rise Mid. When you look online in the description, it says it's a high rise. Note, it is not, it is a mid rise. And the leg is also a wide leg. This leg is a lot wider than the effortless. I'm unsure whether I'm gonna keep these or not. From the front, I feel like they look really nice, um, but then they are really wide from the side. So this is what they look like. I had a whole vision of wearing this with like a white kind of loose, t-shirt tucked in and with sneakers and I just thought it would look really cool. Um, I wanted them to fit sort of over top of my sneakers. I feel like these run a little bit short. I would have wanted it to be a little bit baggier, but they are nice. I just don't know. I'm 50-50 right now and I feel like I need to trust my gut and just return them, but um, I feel like the gray on these are really good. So those are their review. And then I picked up a few t-shirts here i have a dress to show you um but i'm gonna kind of try and go in order 
here what I have. So I picked up this t-shirt here. This is the Wilfred Free, I have many of these, the weekend t-shirt. It is cropped um, and so I always size up in it because I want to be able to wear it to work and if it's too cropped I can't do that. So I have this in a white and a black already, both in size medium. This is a GD I think, yeah this is a GD vintage black. I did search up GD Vintage Black because I wanted some pieces in this color uh, way, but note that the GD, I, I feel like it's mostly the sweat suits, but the GD can be a little bit tricky. It stands for garment dyed, and sometimes they can fade or they can get splotchy, but I haven't had any issues with just the plain kind of t-shirts. So I picked that one up. This was 30, so I feel like it's a good price with the 20% off. Um, again, I like this better than the TNA t-shirts. I feel like the Wilford Free t-shirts are just a little bit better made. And then I picked up the iconic um, Babaton Pegasus shirt. I see this everywhere. A lot of people seem to like it. This is made from organic Pima cotton. This one is more expensive. This is $45. This is in the color Total Eclipse. I got it in a size extra small. It feels so nice. I I need to pick this up in other colors as well. It's the perfect kind of oversized shirt without being too oversized. I went down a size, I'm typically a small, and I picked this up in an extra small just so it'd be a little bit more fitted because I do want to tuck this into um, different dress pants. So I do like the color of this one. I don't have a navy shirt. A lot of my t-shirts are by The Essentials Fear of God. I love their basic tees. I find that the quality is really good, but this quality, Oof. This Pima cotton is so soft. I had a Pima cotton shirt from Aritzia years ago and it lasted forever. And then I picked up, so I'm wearing, this is the 90s contour bodysuit, I believe, from Babaton. I picked up just another basic piece. I love the contour line. It's not quite as good as the Skims or as my Skims pieces, but it's pretty comparable. You don't have to wear a bra with them, which I really like. This is the contour v-neck. I think this one is new. They make it in a bodysuit as well as just the crop top. I got it in a size small and it was $38. I feel like you could also size down in this and it'd be fine. Um, so an extra small. I feel like this one fits a little bit bigger, but this one is a small. It is quite cropped, but if you wear higher jeans or higher pants then it's totally fine. I would say the contours are really good line to invest in. Um, they're, they go really well just by itself or under blazers, um, under like uh, dress shirts if they're opened up. So I really recommend the contour line. And then I have, let me see what's in here. I don't even think, oh, I'll show you this other t-shirt since we're on the t-shirt kick. This is from Sunday Best and I typically don't buy from Sunday Best. I find that the quality isn't as good, but I just this, this was just a basic tee and it was half off. It's the Myth Tee in Heather Cloud White. I do really like the color of the Heather Cloud White. I have a few other pieces in the same color and um, I feel like it matches my skin really well. So that was another basic. The next item is sold out online. And I know this because I got it yesterday. I had originally bought it to wear to my um, students valedictory on Wednesday and it came a day late unfortunately but it is the Babaton trestle dress it is linen and it is a halter top I find that halter tops suit my body really well like the high neck um, because I have very broad shoulders and I get very narrow like my hips are very narrow so I need something to kind of balance it out and I find halter tops work really well or like the high neckline kind of like this um, came in black and white. The black definitely looks more formal than the white. Um, so it is the Tressa linen dress. I got it in a size four. It was $110. So one of the more affordable dresses um, for being linen and being Babaton, I would say. If you can find this in store, get it. I love it. Um, or if you have an essay that can maybe locate one for you, that's maybe an in-store return or something like that, I would get it. Um, I will be on the hunt for this because it is amazing. Um, it's not see-through, 
which is also really good. I feel like you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you don't need to wear a bra with it. It is double lined in the bust area, which is really good. So yeah, I love it. And again, size four. I always go by the recommended sizing, and that's just something that's really oversized. I might size down. And then two more items. So this one, pair of socks, I always pick these up. These are the base ankle socks in a shoe size four and a half to seven. Um, I generally run a seven to a seven and a half. I can get away with the extra small, small or the medium slash large. I have them in both. They both tend to be totally fine. I think if you're in between kind of like the same size as me, then you're probably good. And then I picked this one up. This one is a final sale because this was, I think, half off. This is the Cozy Perfect, um, it's, it just says Cozy Perfect, but I know it is a cropped shirt. I got it in black, I got it in medium, because again, if it's cropped, I tend to always size up. And I think it was $30, and they had tons of colors um, as well as sizes left. So if you like the crop look, then this is a good one. It's not super cropped, like I mentioned, because I did size up. Stay tuned for part two, because there is an amazing piece in there, and I have not seen it in person, and I'm so excited to finally get it in my hands and try it on. Um, and that will hopefully be coming in the next week or so. So let me know if you have any questions down below, or if there are any items that I should pick up from the sale that you are picking up, or that you've already picked up, because I would love to hear some pieces that I need in my wardrobe that maybe I've just overlooked. So until I see you in my next video, thank you again for watching and have a good day. Bye.